What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, Panda here. And just as promised, we have the Onslaught Dungeon Floor 3 guide for you today. Hopefully, if everything goes smoothly, um, the way I'm hoping it does, I'll be able to bring you Floor 3, 4, and 5 this week. Uh, just to get everyone caught up to where they need to be, especially with this Dark Tour event that's going on. And having to beat Onslaught Dungeon Level 5 for those great rewards. I wanted to get these out as soon as possible. So let's dive right into the video. Onslaught Floor 3... Probably the first real hurdle you're going to run into. Um, for Floor 1, it's just a matter of having a strong weapon. Floor 2 um, is just a matter of basically taking Grim and abusing his, his rage power and punching, which is pretty easy. Uh, floor 3 is where you're going to run into probably the biggest issue. So Floor 3 has Sister Nona. She's a cult unit who sits in the back line, um, which is what makes this fight slightly difficult. Um, she does have tank, well they're not tanks so much, but they're pretty tanky golems that stand in the front line, um, and some pretty high damage cult minions in the front line um, that do some pretty crazy damage. Um, and so being able to defeat those and get to the back line can be somewhat difficult. So, um, she does summon them. They're the Root Hounds and the Cultist Acolytes. If you guys know what those are, you have a sort of feel. She is vulnerable to acid and resistant to poison. Uh, so, bringing units like Wormwood um, or Garen, if you happen to have them from this event, are incredibly, incredibly beneficial. Now, personally, when I go in, because I just want to clear it quickly, I take Vordry. You do not have to take Vordry, but you can take him if you choose to. I think he's a good choice simply because he's strong versus Colts. He's relatively easy to get. Um, I was able to get him in the first two or three weeks of playing the game. Um, and if you have a guild that's active right off the bat, which I did not. I didn't have a guild until maybe the first... Like right after the first week, you'll get him probably pretty quickly, uh, especially if you join an active guild that's doing guild bosses consistently. You can probably get the 300 in about a week, maybe a week and a half if you have an active guild. So um, I definitely think that bringing him in here is totally fine. If you don't have him, my recommendation would be to bring in, like I said, Garen. If you have access to him, would be great because he's a, cult, a strong cult hero. Um... And he does Acid, which is good versus the boss. You can also bring in a unit like Wormwood, who has a heal on the base skill. Um, now, keep in mind that heal only heals armor. So, um, it's not going to heal your health bar. It's only going to heal your armor, which is still health. But if you have, you know, full health um, and, f you know, or if you have full armor and low health, which I don't think will happen in here. I'm pretty sure that doesn't work. But um, if you have missing armor it'll heal the armor which is great but his rage ability has acid on it which is great for this fight he's also not strong versus cult though um so i think my recommendation would bring to bring garen if you don't have garen you can build up Aaron. um he will work here he does have acid on his rage ability but he does have poison on his basic so i would recommend to not use the basic because it's not going to do a lot of damage and in all honesty probably less damage than a punch and or a weapon hit so uh, you can bring Aaron just for his rage ability but today I am going to bring Vordry now the other unit that I recommend you bring here um, is either Fahari or Ninjuro um, I'm going to bring Ninjuro because he has a heal on his base uh, that also applies focus which increases my chance to crit which is incredibly powerful here because the goal is going to be to just take down these enemies uh, in the front line, as, front line as fast as possible. Now I am bringing my level 35 troll weapon. The reason why is because the base of 543 um, is actually more damage than my Colt weapon. Uh, my Colt weapon only has 500 versus Colt, so it's 43 less damage. Um, and my Golem weapon is only level 25, which is only 255, which is still less than um, 543, I think it was. Yeah, 543. So if you have a Colt or a Golem weapon that is powerful i definitely recommend you bring that it'll allow you to kill these units slightly faster um but because my goal, my troll weapon is just so much po more powerful we're gonna bring that so just keep in mind when you're doing any any situation um just because the weapon is you know 
damage strong versus doesn't necessarily mean it's going to deal more damage um, than your highest weapon depending on that discrepancy like for example if I look at this demon weapon it has 352 so it's gonna deal more damage if I'm fighting demons right but as we just saw my Colt and my golem weapon are not as strong as bringing my troll weapon here so just keep that in mind so we're gonna go straight into this fight it's a pretty simple fight I am quite a bit more powerful because like I said I fell behind on, on releasing these videos so it's not gonna be as easy as it looks for me here uh, but the concept is the same okay um, my recommendation is to take down these guys as fast as possible no matter what you want to punch the units that you are that you don't have a strong versus weapon for. So in this case, I like I said, I don't have any of them strong versus. But let's say that this weapon was actually a cult weapon, in which case I would punch the golems and swing my sword at the cult units. The reason this is is because the goal of this is to use your rage ability. So if you're bringing Wormwood, you're bringing Garen, you're bringing um, Vordry, or you're bringing... Um, Aaron, right? Your your goal is to be able to use your rage ability. So in this case, because I'm fighting these golems, I am going to go ahead and punch to try to build up my rage power as much as possible. Um, normally on this first round, you're going to kill one unit um, if you're you're lucky. Um, uh, if you have a higher level gauntlet, obviously you'll be able to kill two, but the goal here is to take down at least one enemy per turn. Um, so right there I was able to kill a third one, so we'll go ahead and use our weapon to slide over to the side. Um, the reason why is because you should be able to build your rage up by the third turn when you have four units on the field, which means that your rage ability will hit all of the units, which is very, very powerful. So we're going to go ahead and use blood magic here. It's going to do a lot of damage. Um, should kill almost everything. Yeah, killed almost everything there. Um, so we'll go ahead and do this, this, and we'll get one hit on the boss. So the goal here, like I said, is to kill those frontline enemies to deal damage to the backline. Now, do keep in mind, obviously, like I said before, I am more powerful, um, you know, than I, I, I should be at this point. Um, but the goal is simply to be able to deal as much damage to these frontline units as possible to make it to the back line. <clears throat> now, if you have her in the front line and she's able to be hit, definitely go ahead and hit her. Um, I am only hitting these guys here on the side because um, most of the time you're not going to be able to because you're not going to kill all the units in one turn like I was able to. So I want you guys to see that it is possible uh, to do it when you still have people in the front line. Just right now, he's only spawning guys in the back line now. Um, so keep in mind. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then once you have your rage ability again, just use your rage ability again. Um, this will probably kill the boss or at least get him really low. Yeah, so that ended up killing the boss. Um, the first time that I did this, it took me three rage abilities, and I did have to use one healing potion, um, but that was when I was very underleveled at the time. I was using that level 26 cult weapon, and the golems took forever to take down. Um, so keep in mind that it is entirely possible to do this at a much lower level without the use of Vordry or Nejuro. So if you don't have access to those units, like I said, my recommendations are going to be to bring... Fahari, Wormwood, or Aaron. Those are probably your three best. Um, Fahari does strong versus cult. Her basic applies fury, which will give you more damage when you punch and or use your weapon strikes, which will help you deal more damage to the frontline units, which is great. Do keep in mind that at base at least, I haven't looked at her four star, so I don't know if it goes up any higher, but at base at least, it's only a one turn fury, so you don't want to use it as the last... Um, you know, skill on a turn. You want to preferably use it as the first skill on a turn. Um, I found myself punching or hitting once, um, having it pop up and go, you know what, I'm going to save it for next turn and just continuing my round and getting an ultimate attack to kill a unit off and then using my Fahari the next turn, getting that attack buff and then hitting three times and able to kill normally two people at that lower level. 
Alright guys, if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. If you didn't like it, that's cool too, hit the dislike button. Make sure to leave a comment down below if you have any questions, comments, concerns. Maybe even give some other people units that you brought to this stage if you used something different. Also, we are super, super close to hitting our next goal already. We've passed 750 subs. We're working our way towards 800, and our goal is 1,000 subs. So please, if you haven't already done so, sub to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.